Hey YouTubers, Grimmy Dragon here, and once again we are going into the Superion G2 gift set marathon with uh, the either the second or the fourth review in this marathon, depending on if I go by the order I record this or the numbers on the wings. <laughs> I've still not decided, so I'm sure this will be an indicator of what my decision was. In any case, we have Skydive here, who, much like Firefly, doesn't do much to change the uh, colors that he uses. Um, there are some differences, like this is a more silver, like metallic silver um, plastic than what the uh, standard Combiner Wars uh, skydive had but the color layouts are pretty similar you got the gray and then instead of the black you got this blue color with the checkerboard tempo and the number one and a G2 Autobot badge and number ones on the tail fins since power glide being the smallest and doesn't have a number is going to go first no matter what this might be the second review in the marathon or the fourth, based on recording again. I shouldn't bother saying this, but whatever. <laughs> anyway. All in all, it looks good. You can see he's got the wings. Well, he's got the uh, weapons on the wings, which look nice. Very well done. And uh, just for comparison, we'll get this right out of the way. We'll bring in the standard release skydive. As you can see, very similar. Like the only real differences are the colors. Like the reds are now silvers and the blacks are now blues. Oh yeah. <laughs> I did notice that these are silver instead of black, so there is a difference in the color layout. Okay, didn't catch that at first. So, very similar to what it was uh, in the standard release. And I do like it. So, why don't we get him into robot mode and see how he looks there. Okay, so here's Skydive in his robot mode looking very silver. <laughs> I really blinged out here. That is a bright, shiny silver paint on his torso and his shins. And that is bright, shiny, looks nice. I do like it. Um, you know, the accents of blue work well with them. It's a very nice color scheme, very bright, very 90s. <laughs> Let's face it, that's what it is. Very 90s, and I kind of dig it. And this kind of paint job came from a time where Garish was the thing. And, yeah, he lives up to it. And we'll bring in the uh, Combiner Wars standard skydive. You can see significant differences here. Um, of course, mine have the uh, Hasbro decals from that Asia thing they were doing. Still are, from what I understand. But, uh, yeah, you can see the, how the color layouts are pretty similar. You got silver where the red is, uh, blue where the black is. The gray legs are now silver as well. So a little less colors um, in most areas, but well, a little less uh, color variety, I mean, because the grays are also silver too, so, <laughs> but enough that it really helps bring the character together, and I do think it was worked. I think it worked. Um, yeah, so... Articulation, you got the standard uh, ball-jointed head. 
You got the ball jointed shoulders. Uh, you also have that hinge, which doesn't do much good, just for transformation. But you got bicep swivel, hinged elbow, a little loose at the elbow, unfortunately. Uh, you got a waist, always good. Ball jointed hips. Knee bend, almost 90, and you got a thigh swivel. So, yeah, nice range of motion. I think he turned out well. But the you know, articulation was the same as the uh, Combiner Wars figure, so... Yeah, four weapons, same ones. Uh, you got the double barrel gun and the missile launcher. Both done in blue. So they almost completely blend in with the uh, <laughs> arms, which is a shame because he actually does have painted silver fists that are completely blocked by these things. Still, he looks good. I like him. I'm very happy to have him. So. Yeah, tune in next time as we continue to look at the aerial bots and I'll see you next time so do the usual like comment subscribe and until then goodbye out there whatever you are <laughs>